What's up, everybody? My name is Cody Rattler. I'm Logan Miracle. And today we're here to talk about the making of our symphony music video. Symphony is the final song on our sophomore EP, Digital Therapy. So usually once we finish a song, especially a single that we want to have a music video, we start imagining what could, you know, tell the story of the song perfectly, whether it be following the lyrics or just something completely different. And this one was very simple because it does follow the lyrics exactly. And if you don't know the song yet, first off, go listen to that before watching this. But Symphony is really just about a person wanting to create something that they're just proud of, more specifically for this video, a song. And you just see this person kind of struggling uh, wanting to create the best song in the world and they want everybody to know the words everybody's singing along So I wanted to kind of showcase a video You know with this character going through this cycle of like hitting writer's block and wanting to you know Make that perfect thing then they get that spark David then kind of brought in the little twist of it and by saying not only should he see this Song kind of make shape but he should start envisioning like what it would look like as a band played it on stage and then he starts seeing himself performing that. It's kind of almost turns into like a really cool uh, daydream in a sense. Yeah, it's cool looking back, thinking about uh, how much of the song really is driven off of lyrics, like you were saying. Uh, the song itself is very exactly what he was just explaining. But then for the music video to come to life and replicate what the lyrics are getting to, it's really cool how that whole process came to be. Again, as Logan was saying, we kind of start off as ideas where we're all in a group setting, kind of generating what we want this video to be about. Uh, once we have a solid idea, David will go and spend some time at his house where he works on, I don't know, a digital iPad, something of the likes where he can draw out scene by scene and let us know what this video would look like when we get to recording. So today we're gonna show you guys what that video looks like. So the cool thing, uh, this is not the first time that we've ever kind of done this for a video before shooting it disorder kind of went down the same route uh, yeah. like cody was saying we sit together think of our ideas almost even kind of put it from beginning middle end in a storyboard uh and words and then david goes home and he'll be on his ipad or his computer and either sketch over or freehand uh pictures just kind of making more of an actual storyboard for us to look at and it helps out immensely when we uh, are actually shooting because you actually get specific scenes that you can look at and say, I want this. And like Cody was saying, we did a pretty damn good job of replicating it. Yeah. And just like looking at these, literally each of these is an individual shot that David had to draw out. So it's kind of crazy when we see this for the first time. It's like seeing the video come to life and we haven't even done anything yet besides talk about it. Right. I mean, obviously David's done a lot at this point, but... For those of you guys that are in bands or just know about how music videos go, it's an all-day event. Like, it takes a long time to get through, but... Yep. God, seeing it, like, come to life from just a conversation to this, it's, like, such a big step. You know, uh, actually, too, because our music video shoots go usually late. Yeah. Uh, I, I know we've been with Lance Gerger till, you know, 1, 2 a.m. sometimes. We've worked Rip. late late nights with Jacob Reynolds. Uh, but this one, actually... It was our, other than Greenway, Greenway was our first ever like self-produced music yeah, yeah. video and everything, but that was off of a GoPro Yeah, car. 90% of it. So this was like the first time that we ever did a legit music video, like pretty much on our own. We had big help from uh, Kenny H.B. Johnson, uh, love you buddy. He came out to the live band shots and helped us with that and helped direct it, because obviously David can't be doing that when he's playing on stage. Yeah, but it to what you're getting to uh, it was very streamlined this time around like when we started filming it was very uh back to back on knocking everything out one by one yeah and you can see right here and this is what, like i was saying you know it's kind of it's supposed to be showing us the band play and that's a, a nice little pretty photo of me he actually did did pretty well on my beard there um and then you know there's a crowd showing up and the whole idea is that you're seeing this character who wrote this song and this daydreaming is happening now he is the front man and up uh, with the band and playing Which was kind of cool because a lot of our videos not that like we, we've ever thought that like they have to be super realistic But this is like like I said, it's it's basically a daydream in this person's head that you're kind of seeing throughout the whole time So I like that on this record. We've been a, a bit more ambitious and experimental with our videos Yeah, we did a lot of firsts on this one and uh, 
Yeah. It came out really well. Like what, It was the first time we ever really needed like a lot of extras. And boy, did people deliver. A lot of people came out. So to those who were there, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, we, we had a good amount of you guys. We yeah. very much appreciate it. So you can kind of get the idea from this. Um, and like I said, even, even this helps out immensely. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff because David doesn't want to have to sit and make every single frame yeah, special and much. different. So we have to still go in and think, you know, what each specific shot is going to look like. But again, this is a great blueprint. Um, for any bands, uh, feel free to steal uh, completely. I, I think it's a huge help for uh, just bands and even directors alike. Yeah, definitely a good step in the, the entire writing process. And we love you, David. We appreciate it. I think that is video, what, two or three that we've shot in this place? I feel like it's three now. Yeah. Yeah, it has definitely been three at least. So, yeah. David's got prime real estate for music videos. <laughs> A lot of open room makes it very easy with those couches. Yep. Shout out also to uh, Aaron Mitchell, who hopped up and uh, was, able to, and was able to play our character for us. So that was really cool. Yeah, Aaron, you got into that method acting. Like well, that scene. Like he was right here, yeah. And this is cool because, like, you know, this is kind of like the scene where he's kind of seeing, pause it right here, he's kind of seeing the, the, the words that give him the spark. The first line is kind of making him think, oh, this is it. And you kind of see like papers falling around him. We, me and David, like days before the video shoot, we got together because we wanted to make sure that we made the shot work. We wanted there to be raining papers everywhere, uh, which is really hard to do. Actually, but not just raining papers. Like this is slow motion rain. Yeah. So <laughs> we we went to to Walmart and bought four box fans and literally set them up like in a circle. Uh, I think right behind Aaron. And we found out papers were actually not the best option for getting them, you know, to flow in because our just the too idea, thick. yeah, the idea was to have you know the fans behind Aaron, and then we would kind of throw the papers and they'd fly up, but they they fell, and so it was bad. What you end up seeing in the video is tissue paper or like um, gift wrap uh, or like the gift bag paper that you shove in the bag to kind yeah. of fill it out. That's what you see because those worked perfectly. So we sat there and. Got like a sheet, like huge and big, and just cut it into paper sized sheets, and we use those. Uh, so it came out looking really sick, and uh, but there was a lot of work to it. Probably my favorite shot. Well, the other thing is you guys green screened it too. So we did. Yes. We got we got the background papers first, and then we green screen Aaron in looking at the papers so that it all kind of comes together when the edit is done. I would say uh, another cool shot that uh, that. I know that we had sat down and said we wanted to make this happen was, you know, once he starts seeing the song kind of make shape, uh, you know, he's maybe grabbing pieces that he ripped up or threw away originally and kind of piecing them back together. We wanted to kind of be like, he's mapping the entire wall and you can see right here, you know, we wanted to kind of look like multiple errands or multiple of the character kind of going around real quick, like a montage kind of going over. Cody made a funny joke uh, for anybody fans of Always Sunny, the just Pepe Silva, <laughs> you know, we had a Pepe Silva. Charlie's all crazy with papers everywhere. Yeah, so it's really cool because like, I mean, again, just like it shows here on the storyboard shots, we pretty much mimic the shot exactly, you know? Yeah, David had it like a camera on a dolly where it was constantly moving on the same track. A pretty high tech dolly, like like, like a time. Yeah, it, was, it was good. He he mapped out where he wanted the camera, and we got multiple shots on the same exact track, so that Aaron in the one room was able to be in multiple spots and look like this, like he's actively writing, but also like putting things up. It's kind of all happening at once. Yeah. And yeah, and this. The idea right there, it's real quick, but it's a lot, you'll see obviously in the real video. The idea is that he sees like a poster of the band, uh, like a shot of us or, or like a close up of me or something. And it, you know, zooms into it. And now he's seeing this song being played by a band and stuff. Again, all kind of feeds into this daydream uh, that he's kind of having. Look at David giving me the glasses. <laughs> you get, well, it's, it's funny because we all kind of have our own. Yeah, like, like I know that's Logan. Like, we all have our own like, uh, I guess like shape yeah shape or, or like things that we like you Structure. got glasses I usually have the hat and, and the Signature, beard on yeah. 
So this is uh, something you were talking about earlier, it's just kind of like the back and forth. So like Aaron sees us performing through this poster and then he's kind of like imagining he's there. So this is like the back and forth with Logan as they're singing and then now Aaron is swapped. So Aaron's the singer of the band and he's getting down because this is his dream. Yep. He's writing this song and he's visually imagining what would I be like if I was the one on stage. And so people know too, uh, when we recorded the video, we actually had to play along to the song at like what, like double speed? Yeah, it was like at least 1.25, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's like fast. we didn't practice at all to it, so uh, I'm decent at the click, but holy crap, like... It, the idea of it is we're playing really fast, but when you slow it down, it gives, it looks like it's on the normal speed, but it has more of a it's dramatic... It's a cool effect. You'll see in the video, it's really cool. When we're playing, it's like normal speed, we're landing the hits, but we're slow. So yeah. it's kind of weird how it comes down like that, but... Yo, movie magic, right? Like I said, we, we, we really pulled a... Uh, we pulled out all the stops on this one. We tried to make uh, some we really did. cool shots. We did. And that's it. So yeah, we've, we've pretty much talked all about this making of the video. Uh, you guys probably got to see the shots of behind the scenes and things like the green screen and the papers, but please do us a favor, watch the music video when it drops. And if you're here after the fact, go check it out now that you've seen the making of. Thanks again for watching guys. And uh, after this, just feel free to scour our entire YouTube. We have tons of other content, music videos for some of the other songs on the record. If you haven't already, go stream Digital Therapy. It is out now on all streaming platforms. The older the videos get, the more embarrassing they get. So do yourself a favor. Yeah, <laughs> don't, go, don't go back to the first studio updates. Oh God. Don't. Anyways, we'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, adios. Yo, we're at the music video shoot right now. We're on stage. We got all this set up. We got our mic set up. We got this is David's microphone. We got that one set up right now. He's used to that. <laughs> <laughs>